It's quite exciting, you know, actually designing a house for yourself. And it's sort of from your experience over many years of designing for other people that you've gleaned little bits of detail. So it's a matter of clarifying your brief and then having the confidence to stick with the brief. It's a minimalist design, but we've added elements within the minimalist palette to make it feel like a home. Fiona, my partner, she was quite stringent around a few things, more around the kitchen, but the overall design was pretty much down to me. The site itself is positioned in Kennedy's Bush in Christchurch, about a 20 minute travel into town by car. So it's got a quite a rural outlook, which is what appealed to us when we purchased it. The exterior colour of the house is in two colours. We've used uh, natural concrete in the public areas of the house, and then we've used black concrete, which is a timber wood stain on the private areas of the house. So we get that sort of contrast between the private areas and the public areas. The darker for the evenings and when you're going to bed, uh, you don't necessarily need to have that heat in your bedrooms during summer or during the day. And it's quite surprising the number of people that actually think it's a timber home as opposed to a precast concrete home. We've complemented the exterior by bringing a similar materials palette into the inside of the house. Um, we've used Timaru bluestone in two different thicknesses on the fireplace. So we've repeated the, the in and out that we've got on the rough sawn timber on the outside of the building. We've also used floor tiles on the ensuite and bathroom walls, which once again repeats that sort of timber look through those areas. And obviously we've had to work with the sun, Christchurch's easterly winds and those sorts of things. So we've created a number of areas sort of around the house where you can actually escape the wind. Um, you can move to get out of the sun. You can move to get into the sun. Probably around sort of two or three o'clock, we start dropping down some of the shears. And then the second one's a blackout, which we bring down to keep the heat in during winter. So it traps the air between the two. But the house pretty much holds its heat for most of the evening and we just top it up slightly. So it's, it's quite a large house, but it doesn't require a lot of heating. I see um, New Zealand housing becoming smaller, more compact, easier to heat, getting closer and closer to our cities again. We seem to have had a bit of an urban sprawl over the last sort of 20, 30 years. And with energy prices going up and the environment, I think we'll head back more into an urban environment. <laughs>